So this is Sully. She's a little three-year-old shepherd. I think it said owner surrender. I want to do something different today. I want to see, let's see what it takes to train a shelter dog. Let's see what she'll do, what she'll, how she'll engage and everything. Good girl. Now here you got a dog that's really not even coming to me. And how am I going to fix that problem? Now I put her on a leash. I've got her kind of in a yard, but I've got to get her to kind of engage to me before I can start training. So the first thing I got to do is build this engagement. So I'm going to throw some food on the floor. Sally. That a girl. And every time she comes close to me, she's gonna get a piece of food. Now, guarantee she... Yeah, good girl. She may not even know her name at this point, and I'm not gonna put pressure on her. I'm just gonna, Sally, 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 good girl. Good girl. Right, she's got a leash on, good girl. She's not, she doesn't have any aggression issues. She went over in the, by the kennels, which she shouldn't have done. Sally. Sally, Sally, I'm gonna get lower with her. Yeah, good girl, good girl. And that's really what I wanna get right now. I wanna get some trust going with her. Good girl, good girl. A super sweet little shepherd, about three years old. She needs a little grooming. Okay, so we're gonna go again. So I'm, right now I let her engage and then I disengage. Sally, so she's running away. The worst thing I can do at this point is chase her. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Everything encouraging. Yeah, good girl, good girl, good girl. Hey. So I'm gonna grab that leash next time she comes in. Because if I grab it the first time, then she's gonna think I'm just trying to get her. And I don't wanna just get her. I wanna make it her idea. Sally, Sally. And the lower I get, the less intimidating I am. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Sally, Sally. Hey, come on. So now if I run backwards, let's see if she'll come. Hey, hey, come on, Sally, Sally, Sally. Yeah, good girl, come on. Hey, the worst thing I can do is chase her. It's a big yard, I've got a bad back, and she's a lot younger than me. Come here, Sally. Sally. This is a dog that needs a little love. Shelter dog, been here for over uh, nine months. It's got no real attention, no real play, doesn't have any real issues, just needs a little bit of... So see if I can throw the treats there, like this, I can get the dog to come closer, build trust, right? Notice how that works, right? I'm not gonna force her to come near me, but I'm gonna reward her efforts. Good girl, good. Good girl, good. Now I've got her leash. So now we're going to hold her a little bit more to what I want her to do, which is taking some food, being handled, and all that. So now we're going to start with training. Now we've gotten a dog that's kind of engaged to us. I don't want her to get away from me. Good girl. Good girl. Notice that when I stand up, she gets a little shy. So she's a little shy girl. She needs someone to love her. And she needs someone with that love to give her structure. Sit. Nice. Good girl. Sully, sit. Nope. Come on. Come on. Good girl. See, now she's going to try to run away, but now I'm not going to let her. Now she's seen that being near me is all good. It's full of treats. Sully, here, here. So let's see how she is about being handled. Good. Oh, she's got a little high, hind end um, issues. Good, here. I'm going to make sure she knows that's not a bad thing. I'm going to pet her. Good, good girl, yeah, good girl. No issues with her ears, but a little hind end sensitivity. So I'm gonna to try to see if we can work on that a little bit. Hind end sensitivity is usually, can be caused by pain, but it can be caused a lot by insecurity. Good girl. Sully, can you sit? Let's see if we can get her to sit. Hold the treat up, hey. We're gonna revisit that hind end issue in a minute. I don't wanna right away get back to it. Sit, good, yeah, good girl. My online course for dog trainers is one of the most complete courses available anywhere. It contains over 25 hours of instruction, 48 different lessons containing more than 150 videos, including lecture and hands-on instruction. Quizzes along the way to keep you motivated and on track. 
Plus, you get lifetime access to the entire course in case you need to check back in. The entire course can be done online and you receive a certificate of completion when you finish. The course uses shelter dogs with real behavioral issues that we analyze and train along the way. Real people learning real dog training skills so that you can become a better dog trainer. The course comes with a 100% money back guarantee if you're not satisfied. Check it out today at robertcabral.com. Let's see if I can get a little recall out of her. Sally. Hey, 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 Sally. Nope. Hey, good, nope. She's running in a circle. Totally normal. This is a dog that really was not socialized, especially to people. This I can tell you right now. She has a little issue building trust, but she can be a really nice dog because she's very sweet, comfortable around other dogs, dominant dogs, big dogs, pit bulls, massive, Rottweilers, Dobermans, Shepherds. Every single dog I've walked her by, she's completely neutral. She walked into this little kennel area here with a host of other dogs, including our friend Turk, and had no issues. I mean, she didn't even engage anybody. She sat there and brought about a really calm nature in the other dogs. Dogs. This is a really sweet dog. Again, I'm seeing a little hind quarter sensitivity issues. See? See, she doesn't like that hind quarter. So that's something we got to work on. But, so it's probably not a dog I would recommend for somebody with, ch with children, but that's something I can work on real easy. Hey, come here. Good. Oh. Come here. Hey, hey. No. Nope. Nope. Come here. Sit. Sit. Nope. Hey, sit. Good. Hey. Come. Here. Sit. Good. Yeah. Good girl. Has definitely an issue with the hind quarter. It's going to take some work. Good, sit. But here's a nice dog, it's got a lot of drive. Young dog, needs some socialization, needs to be taught that me touching back here is not gonna be a bad thing and I can do that by starting to touch her here, working my way down, and there, good girl, right? Here again, touch, come back to the hind quarter, and then reward. So if I can kind of break it down for this dog, she's gonna be okay with it, right? She's okay on the head, shoulders, everything here. Good, good. Good. Now it's all the way at the hind quarter there. This is the work that shelter volunteers and shelter trainers, behaviorists need to do. Cookie, reward, good girl. Pet her all the way, touch her hind end, much better. So in a couple minutes, I'm just showing her. In other words, I can't force her through this. I can't grab that tail and hold onto it. I can't flood her on this. She's a very soft dog. But I can start to teach her that this, and I'm using this as, this is very strong. I'm controlling her here. Right? Now look, I'm touching her. Good girl. And then I praise. Right? Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Now look. Good girl. Are you seeing a difference? What, what's going on here? Good. Yeah, good girl. Good. 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 So look here. No issues with the hind end. And again, I'm not showing you this to be the master and she's cured. She's not cured. This is the process that we need to go through over and over that now she's okay with it. All right, good girl. This would be a really nice, easy dog look. No issues. Step by step by step. Now, I already know she has a hind sensitivity issue. Mm -hmm. Whenever I check a dog for that, I'm gonna protect myself. Okay. Even if I'm not sure, I'm gonna mm -hmm. hold her here, and I'm gonna do this. See? Mm -hmm. See, she's already trying to get to me. She yeah. doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. But last time I was here, I did, and I'm gonna show it in the video, I got her past it by doing this, by going, hey, good, right? Good. right? She can't focus on two things at once. She can't focus on her hind end and eating cookies. So she's got to decide what's more important. Mm -hmm. She wants a yummy treat, and if she had a real pain in her back end, she would give up the treat to bite. Okay. Okay? Right. So for me, it's more of a suspicion thing. Yeah. Right? Look. Good right. Good girl. Right? But when you do this, I want you to hold this leash here. Mm -hmm. And then do this. So okay. I'm getting to her back end now. Good girl. And I want to do a little bit. Good girl. And right. praise that. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. so, so I'm going to hold this here. Right? Mm -hmm. This is her head. This is the only thing that she can hurt me with. Right. Right? 
So if I do this and I go here, if she goes to bite me, I just lift up here. Okay. Right? Okay. So you're not even treating. It's not about I don't want right to now. treat it right now. I just okay. want to kind of, what, the first thing I think you should do is I think you should take a cookie. This is just mm -hmm. in any right. dog you're going to work with here at the right. shelter. First thing you're going to do is you're going to test hind hindquarter sensitivity. Okay. The way I test it is I hold the leash here and I touch. I see that. Yeah. See she's getting mouthy, right? Okay, okay. Do you see what I did? Yeah. I protected myself. You I have the leash. Her. I have to lift her front end off the ground because if it's down here, she's going to bite my leg or my arm. Okay, okay. I lift this like this and I say no. Okay, okay. Right? I'm going to hand her a cookie and I'm just going to run my hand along. Okay. That's it. But the first thing I want you to do is see how you're going to protect yourself mm -hmm. with it. Okay. Every dog you take out of the kennel, mm -hmm. in your mind, has hindquarter sensitivity issues. Okay. Right. Okay, so because we've shown her the picture, she's getting better with it. That's good. Right? Okay, so I know she has hindquarter sensitivity, but she's not showing it. But I want you to desensitize her to it. That's the project with this dog. And as I'm doing that, she is desensitized already a right. little bit. Right, but what I want to do... Good girl. Good. You're just gently petting her. So what you want to do now is, since we know she has it, mm -hmm. every time or two she lets you do it, oh, I yeah. want you to be feeding her cookies. Okay. I want her to associate being touched where she's uncomfortable with something yeah. that's very pleasurable. Right right, 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 right. We would hope that she was checked out by the vet to make sure she yeah. doesn't have a spine issue, a sure, tail issue, sure. a hip issue. Right, right. And that would be our first thing. That's your project for the next, until she gets adopted. Okay.